How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be replacing the starter on this 2009 Mini Cooper base. So here recently we've had issues with the Mini Cooper starting. Sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it hesitates. So here's what this particular Mini Cooper is doing. You insert the key, step on the brake, and nothing. In the method described in this video, you don't have to remove the intake manifold like other videos I've seen. In fact, I think you can get by without removing the intake box, but I did and it allowed a bit more room on the top bolt. As for tools that you'll be needing for this job, we have rubber gloves, safety glasses because there's a lot of dust and dirt beneath the car, a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, two wobble extensions, a ratchet, this E12, external torque, a 13 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, a T25 Torx, and a way to adapt it to the ratchet, a flathead screwdriver, a magnet, and a mirror. Also, you'll need a floor jack and two jack stands. Some cardboard to slide underneath the vehicle, a place to hold all your bolts, and a flashlight. So first thing we'll want to do is lift the Mini Cooper up from the front so we can get up underneath it. Don't forget to chalk the back tires. After you've lifted up the car, or before you lifted up the car, be sure to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. There's a 9mm bolt that you take off right here. I already did it. And what you want to do is uh, take off this piece of the intake. Let's connect to the hose here. And just wiggle it out. We're going to want to take off the intake just so we have better visibility from the top. There's four T25 Torx that you need to remove. One right here, up here, on the left here, and then at the bottom right here. And then you'll want to disconnect this mass airflow sensor. And there's a, you just pull it from the bottom. And then there's also another nine millimeter here. Lastly, you'll want to loosen this hose clamp right here. Then it will all slide out. There's two rubber pieces that hold this piece of the intake down. And uh, you just kind of wiggle on them and pull. And here's one. And here's the other one. You kind of just do the same. You just wiggle on it and pull and it should just slide out. After you remove it, this is what it looks like from the top. And this is pretty much the orientation of the starter, just underneath the intake. Here's the starter from underneath. You'll want to disconnect these two wires right here. For the bottom wire, you just need to press the retaining wire clip in and pull the wire. After that, you'll grab your 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench and attach it to the other bolt. And then just start counterclockwise turning the bolt. Once you remove that bolt, this should slide out. And next we'll use the E10 torque right here to remove this bolt right here. And there's also another one on top, the same orientation facing that way. So the other E12 bolt is right here. Touching it right here, it goes put along with this bracket. You can see the brackets already loosened up. I already loosened up the, the bolt. This one was a little hard to take off but uh, with some persistence, I was able to take it off. So after removing this bolt and then the one on top, the next thing to do, uh, there's another, I believe it's a 13 millimeter, but it's facing the other way. And that one we will do from the top. In order to get to that bolt, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and remove this bracket right here. There's two uh, 13 millimeter bolts right here. And that should give us more space. So this top bolt is a little tricky since you really can't see. So what I did is I put uh, two wobble extensions and uh, this is what it looks like once it's finally hooked up to the bolt. And I, I put a little zip tie here just to pull this, this back a little bit, give us some more room. After you remove that final bolt up there, uh, you should see that it's going to start coming off. You just have to maneuver it out and like a puzzle, it's going to have to come out. The old starter pretty much comes out head first. And you just have to move the exhaust a little bit and just wiggle it around, twisting and turning as it comes out. This is what the new starter looks like. Here's where the 13 millimeter bolt goes into. And one of the E12s goes in here. And the other E12 bolt goes down here. Just like that. And this is the old starter. As you can see, it's kind of corroded back here. I transferred the old bolt guide over to the new starter. 
And this is how the new one will go in, right here to the right of the exhaust, twisting and turning. And you'll have to pull on the exhaust a little bit. After you've placed the starter where it goes, you can place the bolts and start to hand tighten them. Replacing the top bolt can be a little tricky, but you use the same two wobble extensions to help you get in there. I used a small video camera for guidance, but you can use a mirror. After you've adequately tightened all the starter bolts, all you have to do now is reassemble everything back together. And don't forget to reconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Now that it's been put back together, let's try this again with the new starter. And it starts right up, no issues. One more time. There you go, it doesn't hesitate. Last thing to do is put the car back down. There you go, that's all there is to it to replace the starter on a 2009 Mini Cooper base. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Yeah.